We have been sharing workspaces with robots for some time now. The first industrial robots were used in the mid-20th century, majorly to carry out routine manual assembly tasks on production lines. What sets industrial robots apart today is that they can perform their work in a truly autonomous manner without the need for direct control or input to dictate how they work. It is because they are controlled by software algorithms that use artificial intelligence, especially machine learning, to continuously improve their work. Here are the robots that are taking new shapes this year. Number 13, Erika. Researchers at Kyoto University in Japan teach humanoid robots to laugh in response to human laughter. The robot named Erika can detect when a person is laughing, decide if it's appropriate to laugh back and respond with two types of laughter, a soft laugh and a louder laugh. The scientists then trained an algorithm to identify the basic characteristics of each type of laughter, such as a small polite laugh, and reflect them appropriately. If they thought all laughter was the same, it would react to anything, but it would not be delightful if it didn't react at all. If a robot can tell the two apart, that's a useful insight. The research team added different types of laughter to Erica's portfolio, combining her ability to process language with her ability to laugh appropriately so that she could decide what was funny and what isn't based on the meaning of the words. Number 12, RP Vida. What could be better than the ability for multiple medical professionals and caregivers to collaborate in real time at a patient's bedside? This is exactly what the RP Vita has in store for you. The robot has made it possible to access comprehensive care that is difficult to find in most medical facilities. This robot is already used in quite a few hospitals and will pop up everywhere soon. Number 11, UR10. Universal Robots' trusty robot, the UR10, is rightfully famous. It can optimize production and improve performance in various industries. This robot is by your side, whether in pharma, food, agriculture, automotive, metals, or chemistry. The UR10 takes on many tasks, such as packing, palletizing, assembly, picking, and placement. Number 10, Sophia. Another humanoid robot that shouldn't be overlooked is Sophia, developed by Hong Kong-based company Hansen Robotics. An interesting fact is that it is the first robot to be granted citizenship in any country. In fact, Sophia has officially become a citizen of Saudi Arabia. Sophia is said to resemble the famous Hollywood actress Audrey Hepburn. She performs well as a cloud manager at nursing homes, major events, and in parks. She was activated in February 2016 and made her first public appearance at South by Southwest Festival in mid-March 2016 in Austin, Texas. Since its launch, Sophia has garnered a lot of media coverage featuring numerous high-profile interviews, events, and panel discussions across the world. Number 9, Yunko Chihira. This humanoid robot works at Aqua City Odaiba, a shopping mall at the Tokyo waterfront. Yunko Sendaira was developed by Toshiba based on the technology of Osaka robot researcher Hiroshi Ishiguro. When it comes to this robot's skills, Junko has great interaction skills and a wide range of facial expressions. She can also greet tourists in Japanese, English, and Chinese making communication much easier. What sets it apart is the fact that it can interact with sign language to help deaf tourists. Number 8, Gia Gia. Gia Gia is another interesting humanoid robot that is definitely in the top 10 list of humanoid robots set to grow tenfold in 2023. Developed by a team from the University of Science and Technology of China, Gia Gia is considered the most beautiful woman in China. She can talk to people and respond accordingly. Her amazing human eye movement and her speech and lip sync were considered almost magical when she was initially unboxed. Number 7, Gitabot. Don't you hate carrying shopping bags all the time on your trip? Well, no more. This robot is designed to follow you and sort your groceries and luggage. No wonder it's a blessing for short business trips and an excellent travel companion. Number 6, Oceana 1. Oceana 1 is widely recognized as a two-handed humanoid underwater robot designed for coral reef exploration. Developed by the Stanford Robotics Lab, Oceana 1 can reach depths most humans cannot. It's the perfect synergy of robotics, haptic feedback, systems, and artificial intelligence. Number 5, Atlas. Atlas is a bipedal humanoid robot that was developed by Boston Dynamics with funding and oversight from the U.S. Department of Defense Agency, DARPA. The robot, which is 1.8 meters tall, is designed for the DARPA Robot Challenge. Unveiled in July 2013, the objective of this robot was to assist in a variety of search and rescue tasks. The control system of Atlas coordinates motions of the arms, torso, and legs to accomplish whole-body mobile manipulation, significantly expanding its reach and workspace. 
The second Atlas generation could walk on snow, pick up boxes, and stand up by itself after falling. Number 4. Toyota THR3 Toyota THR3 is a third-generation humanoid robot, which was designed from the get-go to be remote-controlled by a human. It is 1.5 meters tall, weighs 75 kilograms, and has torque-controlled freedom of 32 degrees with a pair of 10-fingered hands. The robot is designed to be a platform with capabilities that can safely assist people in a different variety of settings like home, medical facilities, disaster-stricken areas, construction sites, and outer space. THR3 is controlled by a master maneuvering system that enables the robot's entire body to be instinctively operated with wearable controls. That control system maps the robot's hand, arm, and foot movements, and a head-mounted display allows users to see from the robot's perspective. Number 3. Honda E2DR E2DR is a disaster response robot from Honda that is able to navigate through dangerous, complex environments. The robot looks like a humanoid and heavier and tougher than the company's Asimo, first presented in 2000. Honda E2DR is designed to perform as a rescuer in a broad range of situations dangerous for human rescuers, including areas with high background radiation or in a structurally unsound, badly damaged building. Armed with three LED-equipped cameras, rotating laser rangefinders, infrared projectors and 3D cameras to navigate its potentially hazardous environments, Honda E2DR is 1.68 meters tall 85 kg in weight. Number 2. Xin Meng. Xin Meng is the first female AI news anchor at the Chinese state-owned Xinhua News Agency. In February last year, the news agency divulged its latest effort to deliver content through AI. Working in collaboration with the Chinese search engine company Sogu to produce Xin, the robot made her debut at China's two sessions meetings. Xin Meng is the second AI-based news anchor working for the news agency, developed in collaboration with Sogu. Xinhua has been experimenting with AI-driven journalism in recent years, including a robot reporter whose attempt to emulate a human went slightly awry. Number 1. Tesla's Optimus Originally dubbed TeslaBot, Optimus was introduced to help combat rising labor shortages by providing a potential alternative to manual workers. In the latest update, however, Musk says he envisions these robots to have applications beyond the industrial sector to take on household tasks. Tesla bots are initially positioned to replace people in repetitive, boring, and dangerous tasks, Musk wrote. But the vision is for them to serve millions of households, such as cooking, mowing, and caring for the elderly. Achieving this goal requires that robots evolve to be smart enough and for us to have the ability to mass-produce robots, he added. Fitted with an array of sensors to see its surroundings, Optimus will be able to identify and interact with real-world objects, as well as autonomously navigate through its surroundings. Tesla's Optimus robot is set to debut on AI Day on September 30, just over a year after plans for the project were initially announced. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.